it's your friend Elrang. Here we are. Only an hour late today, of course, because of daylight savings time. All right, fine. Uh, I overslept a little bit. I, ever since I went to that funeral, like a few weeks ago, I, I came back and I've just been non-stop ill every day. I've, I've had a block nose. I've been coughing. I've been sneezing. I've been sleeping like shit. And now... It feels as if the dust is settling. Um, I slept for like 12 hours, so I, I didn't wake up in time to record the Elder Kings, basically. Uh, but here we are. I did wake up at like midnight because my life is a total mess. But here we are recording it. Anyway, I'll try and get this up in time. Apologies. We'll be back on regular schedule now. Don't panic. People are asking immediately if the series was cancelled. It's not cancelled. Okay, sometimes life just gets in the way a little bit, eh? So in terms of really important stuff to mention then, uh, I've got to bring it up. Everybody and their mother said you should have called the cat Fine Niasta. And I won't lie to you, that did that thought did cross my mind, but then I thought it's a little too anime, and I'm not gonna uh, stoop myself to your level, viewer. So uh, I think Hermaeus Meowra is also pretty good. It's not as good, I will admit. It doesn't roll off the tongue so well, but it's more relevant to Elrang, right? And that's what matters here. He would want something that represents him, or at least uh, an aspect of him, anyway. So uh, great advice here from uh, someone in the comments saying that with peasant revolts. You can click on the leader, and if you target the army they're leading and win the battle, you automatically win the war. Now, that is a piece of knowledge that, if true, is astoundingly good to know. That's something that's going to save us hours and hours and hours in the future. Um, so, going through some other useful comments here, because obviously I've had a lot more time to read through them this time. Uh, Jonathan Friedman says, with the dynasty bonuses, there's a skill called Aging with Grace. Um... Yeah, I was going to say I thought I could click. That game's just been a little slow there. Uh, let's open our Dynasty Tree, and then... Whoa, not Dynasty Tree. Although, we should probably look at that at some point, eh? Might be quite informative. Um, aging with... Gra oh, Graceful Aging. Yeah, there it is. Increased skills with age. Whoa, my God. Uh, it's going to take us a very, very, very long time to get there, isn't it? Um, I think that uh, we should, at the very minimum, take Resilient Bloodline Architect's Ancestry to build up Bear in mind, the alien culture and religion is still very, very, very flimsy right now. We've basically only just established it. Nowhere else has been converted other than white gold. So we've got to be very, very careful about that. I feel like empowering our family members as we have been is a good way to carry on. After that, we'll blast down this route. Because this, I, I imagine by the time we get to being able to get enough renown to start unlocking these, that's probably going to correlate with about the time we're going to start landing our dynasty members. So that could work out really well. Great call. I think that could be pretty fun. Um... All right, there was something else as well I think I was supposed to mention. I wrote down something else too, uh, but I can't find it. <laughs> Somebody pointed out that we got to 1,050% uh, war score, which is just a... Elrang is just the type of guy he is, okay? If you go to war with him, you gotta, you gotta, you're not going to miss. She wants to forge regalia. Uh, no, thank you. Does anybody want to go on an adventure? Uh, you want to write about stewardship, you're competent. You want to go to Hammerfell. I heard they've got curved swords. Um, absolutely will sponsor an inspiration for you to go to Hammerfell. We have, what, is there any, like, important world regions we haven't been to yet? With the, uh, I don't think we've been to Alanor. Pretty sure we've been to Elsewhere and Valenwood and maybe not High Rock or Daggerfall. I, I don't think so. And I'm, I, I don't think we've been to Yakuda either. Maybe today... Yeah, we are going to carry on with the non-stop Tamriel conquest. Or sorry, the, the Cyrodiil conquest. I wanted to bring this up, actually. When we conquest all of Cyrodiil, I think, rather than me just painting the map, because at that point, I think it might get quite dull. Uh, I think at that point, we, we try and go for the kingdom of the, however, uh, the kingdom of uh, Ten Thrones, or whatever the hell it's called. Dynasty of Many Crowns, that's it. Um, we, we form the Empire... We could always make everybody independent and then revassalize them, which I think would be the safest thing to do. Then we have Emperor uh, of Cyrodiil, Elrang, just going by himself. I just observed the game for, say, 500 years or whatever, let it run in the background as I'm recording remote or something like that, uh, I'll do a time lapse of it, and then come back to it however many hours later, see, more importantly, if Elrang survived, I doubt he will, I'll probably get himself assassinated immediately, see if the Empire survives, see if the dynasty is thriving, see if aliens are still kicking around, see if the religion actually takes hold without me actively trying to pursue that. I think that's a lot more interesting than me just painting the map purple. Um, I've never really been into map painting. I think I only did it really once in the uh, CK2 run that we did. Um, are you sure, let's play the character a little bit today because uh, we haven't really done it. It's been a lot of warfare and constant back and forth and title management and stuff, which is good. But I, I think Elrang's definitely gone on the back burner. 
or more specifically, he's been blinded by warfare. Uh, so yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do that. I want to see if we can get some more unique stuff, because it's been a while since we've done that. Um, speak of the devil, and she shall appear. She wants to go to Yakuda, and she is renowned through the world. Oh, um, if I close these off, and then we close it and reopen it, that will... That will keep it open, right? I don't remember. If somebody wants to go to Hammerfell, you want to go to Morrowind? Ooh, this could be very nice. And I mean, maybe, like, for example, a mirror here, the, the armorer. Maybe we get her to make us a shield. Maybe we could do something with that one. Um, we do still... Oh, we are still lacking a, a decent crown. You just want to go on an adventure. Interesting. Um... What does that mean? Or you just want to go on an adventure? Oh, interesting. Okay, well, we'll, well maybe we'll pursue that one then. Well, there's a lot of people. I won't go through all of these. Um, that's it. It's cool. And let's see if we can bring some people over here. Send a gift to Leaf. And see if we can... I feel like I had you in my court before. Did I not? Oh, well. Um, we're going to probably have to abduct some people. 8585, because of course, between the Scallops key and the other bonuses, people pointed out um, the spells and everything else we can do. We can pretty much... As long as we hit that 15% chance, we can take whoever we want. I want to go for that person who wants to go on a generic adventure. That sounds fun. Um, I will still send a gift, invite to court, try it, see if we can use a bribe or a hook or whatever. It doesn't work. Never mind. Um, let's abduct them then. Okay. We've cancelled our scheme to murder someone, but I don't remember who we were murdering. It's very Alrang. He just gets blindsided by, uh, you know, far more important ventures. Things that will bring him glory and artifacts and power. Welcome, friends. Welcome, Moon and Star. Oh, he's obese again. It's very annoying. Uh, should we just, like, say, don't bother, stop trying to lose weight? Because, I mean, at this point, you might as well just embrace it. Just go nuts, my friend. We haven't got to worry about obesity affecting you anyway, right? Lose weight? No, it's all right. You know what? Eat those people. You are what you eat, which is why our rank at this point is roughly 75 individuals. Uh, as my loyal grandson, Malapen Angua, stalks my wife, stalks towards my wife, and still isn't very good, Arana Mira, with seething anger in his eyes and a knife in his hand, I do not even stop to think. I grab the closest thing I can use as a weapon and charge. Oh my god. Who knew cutlery could be so sharp? Oh my god. He's, he's actually just going to murder her. Wow, he's actually going to murder her if we don't interact. Uh, Arana Mira is killed by Malapananga. Gins a trait murderer. I'll deflect the knife. Oh my god, there's an 11% chance we fail and she dies. Who knew cutlery could be so sharp? Lots of potential different things could happen from that one. I acted in defense of Mira. You saw it all. Arane's going to jump in and immediately slit this guy's throat. Oh no. Should we try and deflect the knife? I feel like it's far more impressive if Alrang jumps in and, like, de diffuses the whole situation with his rapid yet voluptuous uh, reflexes. <laughs> I will deflect the knife. No one is hurt. My grandson, Malapananga, has accused my grandson, Malapananga, of having to plot it. Oh my god! This is unthinkable! He's trying to murder my wife, and he's told us about it. Arrest this filthy criminal. This is an Alrang moment right here. This is where we need the Oblivion music, right? Guards, arrest this filthy criminal. Throw him away. Lo throw, throw away the key. Lock the door. Wait, he was our heir, though. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, why did you want to kill her? What was wrong with you? Why did you do such a thing? Alrang's not so happy about it because he attempted to murder his wife. Uh... That's unbelievable. Fickle, cynical, paranoid. Maybe she, she, uh, he was scared of her, given that she is like an actual, you know, well, like a metaphorical Elder Scrolls demon. Stood there with her spooky Darth Maul looking ass. Maybe he was like not, not particularly pleased about that. A little bit concerned about things. Oh, I think we leave him there. Do we, will we execute him? Elrang is vengeful, but no, we're not allowed to, more importantly. He's a known criminal. We can execute him without being viewed as a tyrant, but we would become a kin slayer. We also gain some stress from that. But if we devour him, we also lose stress. I don't think we should. I think any action that makes him gain stress within regards to his own family is clearly something that that, that is not ideal. Oh, I remember, of course. We went to war for um, <coughs> Bruma and ended up taking a single county in Chadenhall because I am very smart. Um, I'm going to give this to just anybody, honestly. Uh, I'm not going to give this to a dynasty member. It seems a bit of a waste. You can have the Temple of the Ancestor. Moth, that's all for you. Um, oh, I bet I started the plot to kill her. That's who I was probably murdering. Makes sense. Right. Uh, to serve man. 
The cook's assistant gave his body and soul to prepare this meal. I hope the result will delight. As we sit down to eat, however, my great-grandson, Captain Harriman, only pokes his food placed in front of him and looks at me with suspicion. Let him suspect what he wants or uh, bring the captain something else to eat. So this exquisite food gives what, like health? Elrang has, has been very kind towards his dynasty and I feel like he would he would bring him something else. I feel like he wouldn't be that cruel. Ah, oh, one of our zombies. Hello, Cecilia the Impaler of Leowen. One of the previous queen of Leowen is here. My ruthless executioner, Cicero, mopes around the planet, smiling with cold intent, with all the subtlety of a petulant child. At last, I can, I can tolerate these sorry displays at my court no more, and I demand, what is the matter? She's taken aback, but answers swiftly. My lord, forgive me, it's just that I have not had a good kill in weeks. Come, that glorious, uh, godless infidel, Moralki, is just languishing, waiting for you to announce their execution date. Allow me to put that irredeemable fiend out of my misery. Uh, out of his misery. Um, we can. And we also gain court grandeur. Yes, and you are a criminal. Uh, no. You enjoy this too much or there is no rush? No, no, no. Have him executed. That's totally fine. I, I feel like it's very hypocritical to take someone as, a, as an immortal, zombified executioner and then not allow them to execute people. Let's have a look at Kavach then. Uh, I didn't really want to take that tiny chunk of anvil. I do feel like they need to be put in their place a little bit because they are blown up. If we grab Skingrad, that makes us surround them on every single angle, technically in the south too there, given that we have an ally from Princess Daldea. Um, we absolutely destroy them in terms of troops. Are we overextending doing this? I mean, we're already overextended. What's a little more, eh? Everybody hates us. The religion, the culture is totally separate. Um, how are we doing in terms of culture then? Yeah. I mean, this is the bigger concern. I don't care about the religion. That can do what it wants, right? Um, the problem is, Malada, of course, still considers us hostile. I think we go for Kavach. No, sorry, a, a four, well, four skin red, which is part of Kavach. You're the hero of Kavach. Uh, let's go for Kingdom of Skingrad then. Why not? Live a little. You can do all the court stuff, you know. We can. Oh, all of his troops are there and on to us. Hello there. Well, this is uh, quite a surprise. Let's raise all the armies right there. Hopefully, they won't attack before we've reinforced. They won't because they're, they're stupid. Oh, God. They're very smart. Um, one day left. Shit. We're going to win. You win decisively. You've just killed your men. You've just killed your armies. <laughs> I should have had more faith. Die. Die forever. Die forever. Where uh, We want to come back down to here. Do you want to reinforce this? I think we do, because I think we'll take too many losses otherwise. Uh, greetings, my charming lady. I've arrived at the White Gold Tower in order to play homage to you, glorious Iran, and show of my loyalty. Hello, serve me well, Marla Pedurill. Excellent. Now, a lot of people have pointed out that, um, oh my god, you just sent your whole army to die. That was a level of warfare even I would not be capable of. Truly a shameful display. We should probably just go for Kavach proper, take his capital, because there's a good chance. If we, we can go down through our own provinces, can't we? We've got to jump uh, two provinces minimum. So let's go down to Brittle Rock. We'll siege through Wariel, go up to Kavach, burn the damn thing down. <laughs> a few years too early, I will admit. Um, oh, Leaf is no longer in diplomatic range. Oh, balls. Well, that's unfortunate. Never mind. Uh, we'll start a new abduction then. Uh, you want to go to elsewhere? You want to? Oh, it does keep it. Nice. If we cancel all this off, I should start doing that at the start of episodes. Then um, you want to go to Hammerfell? Have we sent anyone to Hammerfell? Elsewhere, Morrowind. I feel like Morrowind is loaded up with more artifacts than anywhere else. So we're going to abduct you, Elga. You just got like a Morrowind seems to have a lot of stuff there. It's because of eccentric old elven men hiding in towers, hoarding a bunch of artifacts. What? You, what you, of course I know him. He's me. Uh, let's see what comes of this. Given as Hel Helin Helinke seems to be a true scholar just as I am. Surely there must be many topics which we could converse. I should approach her. Uh, of course, we're trying to befriend five people. I remember now. Hey, there we go. We've bonded at the dance of the Temple of the Ancestors. After learning that Governess Helinke would be attending the dance in the castle town of Brittle Rock, I decided that it would be the perfect occasion to pass to ensure that I get some face-to-face -face time with her. My reading comprehension has dropped to, to nothing. The ball was exquisite. And Governess Halinke put on a fine show. Afterwards, I told her how impressed I was, and we got to talking. By the time I left, I felt as if we'd known each other a lifetime already. Amazing. So we need five friends, isn't it, to um, to get the maximum bonuses. <laughs> what a lineup we've got. Uh, I should try and befriend someone like Dive Fear. I wonder if he's uh, within range. Where is he? He's uh, Telfear. Telfear. Where is that these days? God, I don't remember at all. I should. I could try using the Carrots Finder rather than relying on Morrowind's geography. Um... 
Dear they Diva Fear. Di I, how do I, have I spelled that wrong? You know, just sort by age. I'm sure he's up there. Um, let's go all, and then, oh, Lame Bal. Hello there. Um, right, okay, let's have a look. Pirate King. Oh my god, he's died. He was executed by Trethane Ungaleb the Damned. Who killed him? Wait, hang on. Sorry, I know this is like totally irrelevant. Some random dude. Or some random uh, uh, murderous genius. Wow. Okay. Can I make friends with you? You're too far away. Are any of these people in Diplo range? Oh, here we go. House Inderil. Uh, you're very old. Yeah, let's... Uh, wait, hang on. We can we can talk to the... Oh, that's interesting. What about Lame Ball? Is she within range then? Oh, she is. Oh, how lovely. Sure, let's... No, I want to befriend her. We're not allowed to. Shit. Um, <laughs> I thought that'd be kind of a weird one to go for. I feel like it's very L-Rang, too, to contact, like, the... Like, this person, for example, is apparently... I presume, like, the champion of Nimera or something like that. He's also a vampire. Whoa. I don't remember him from Marlin, but I'm sure he's relevant. Surely there's someone here we can have a chat with. What about you? Yes, but friend, she'll do. Gotta know who's... Who even are you? Just a random elf woman that turned up on the list. Fine. Good enough for me. Good enough. Elrang would want to, you know, expand his horizons a little bit. He's a man of knowledge. And what better way than to... Befriend court mages across the world. The oldest and wisest of court mages, in fact. Um, what do we need to siege for here? Where's, that, where's, where's your county capital, fella? Uh, this one. What, how, what, what, sorry, hang on. Whoa. This one. Where is that? Oh, we're already there. Very good. <laughs> I'm so glad I am in charge of moving these armies. Speaking of which, we put Elrang in charge of moving these armies. Um, let's explore the hills, of course, for the standard abduct plot. Yeah, I still, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how sieging in this game is expected to go. Hello. Greetings, grandfather. You have something that should belong to me. 25 prowess versus uh, 38. Done. Right. I have no idea how this works, but let's do it. Uh, use your magic abilities to move your opponent with great force. Yes. Go forth, my arcane powers. Yes. An opening. Try my steel, boar. Always go for either magic or... The, uh, the highlighted option. Go. We've done it. It works. Defeated my opponent. Fine Astor alone knows what the, what face or calor is pulling right now. Fear, pain, lust, confusion, I likely never know. Whatever it is, it transmutes into a series of meekly inoffensive quick slashes. And I almost feel a surge of pity as I knock the sword from his grasp. It takes quite a bit of prodding to focus Oracle, Oracle or enough for a formal yield, but we got there. Wow. We did lose the durability on our Staff of Hasidoki. Oh, that's what we're using to duel. Oh, that's kind of fun. Um, we should probably go ahead and repair all our artifacts then. There we go. I feel a little bit better about that now. Um, so he was after the... What was it? The White Boar Hide of Senelana again. Good God. Right. Good morning, Kavach. How are you doing? Uh, greetings, grandfather. I've been... Oh, God. It's this again. Another grandson has been married off that he's not happy about. Fine. She abused him. A spouse relative to us. That's so sad. I almost can't believe my own eyes when my beloved grandson is finally led back to my rooms. My plan succeeded. He's away from the grasp of that aberrant, aberrant doxy, Lady Kinseldea. Is this not like the third time this has happened? Weird. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm going mad. Um, just get them divorced. Yeah, just get them divorced. I can't afford to replace one of my, one of my plots here. Ooh. My lord, my Pelin Mubdan arrives as announced in a surprisingly announces his arrival in a surprisingly loud voice. He probably holds up a package secured wrapped in cloth. I return from Hammerfell with an aspect from my journey. Wow. Inside is a tapestry. And he puffs his chest as he weaves me, no pun intended, a tale about his traveling companion who was a master tailor. The shared adventure inspired the chosen motifs on the tapestry. The elf boy tapestry. Thank you. Um Renown. Hey, I was going to say that if we're going to focus on uh, kind of longevity and, and benefits for the dynasty, Renown is something we definitely need to be... We definitely need to be trying to boom up. So maybe we'll swap some artifacts out to focus on that. Of late, my court musician, Sendrasa, has obtained a new instrument, a sitola, I believe, and has taken to strumming on it loudly at all times during the night. When co confronting Sendrasa, she declares, My liege, I am only practicing my art, so that I may be the court musician that you deserve. Um... Take your art and sod off. That's good. Uh, just keep it to a minimum at night. Or, if your music was better, we would not complain. <sighs> yeah, all right. Go on. I feel like our rank's very quick to uh, anger. I, I mean, he is quick to anger. There's no there's no feeling involved with that. We, we know that from 
Everything is demonstrated. Oh, shit. Oh, it's okay. I was born this day 263 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me I'm not heard from my wife, Mira. This happens quite a lot, doesn't it? I mean, we're playing at quite high speed, to be fair. Um, what gift do we want this time? Let's take a small package. Another brooch. Is it always the brooch in the small package? Maybe we won't do that next time. Um, I'm kind of concerned about the enormous army Skingrad have fielded to Sirod. So, let's double back. What magic have we got active? Movement speed 30%, I think is fine. Um, let's double back. Let's use this army to kill all the other armies and let our vassals do a little sieging. Ooh, as I walk outside, I'm greeted by the sight of my daughter, Captain R R Loreckless, crouching beside my cat, Hermaeus Miaura, tenderly patting her head. This is quite the lovely cat you have, my lord. Thank you, it is. It's a, a horrific, uh, Crow did a, a great piece of art dedicated to uh, Hermaeus Miaura, a very good depiction of Elrang's favorite furry friend. And I feel like that's not that's my head kind of now. It's just a horrendous tentacled beast. Ooh, that was a dangerous battle, but we're fine. Alga, join me. Shit. Try again. Right, okay, hold on. Stand your ground. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. I wonder if the game's kind of calculation that does, like, oh, you may win this battle. I wonder if that takes into account all of Elrang's magical abilities, giving the bonuses. Because that did not look like a you may win situation. That looked like a bit of a decisive victory to me. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, okay, great. Well, let's, let's go and stop this shit going on. Are you not going through enemy land? Are you not going to take attrition doing that? How odd. I, I, clearly, I don't know how attrition works. <laughs> I'd rather notice it and understand rather than, oh, someone's trying to steal artifacts from him. Shame. If only he'd been more successful with his plots. I, I mean, Elrang would have appreciated, you know, if he wants to murder Elrang's wife, that's fine. But you've got to, you know, you've got to like actually uh, do it underhanded in a secret way where no one will know. You've got, you've got to get away with it. That's what we've encouraged here. My vassal, Malapen Nuror, has honored me with a visit and has brought one of his courtiers along. Well met, Aaron Elrang. It pleases me seeing you thriving here in the Temple of the Ancestors. It occurred to me that El Ethadane might be of service in your court. He's an incredibly talented scholar. The brightest I've ever heard from. Ah, oh, maybe he would. He isn't bad at all. He is a eunuch. I must politely decline. Um, this sounds like a trap. Though we do also gain closer to forming a friendship with him. Does this guy like us? Uh, here, I'll send you a gift. And then you may join me. Fine. Welcome. Welcome to welcome to court. Right. Let's do some real damage here. 32%. That's fine. We're just, we're just gonna push him back. I don't really care that we're losing all of this random unassorted land. Uh, couldn't couldn't be couldn't be any more bothered. Perfect time to strike. Here we go. We're gonna try and get Asma or Tirmo. Nice. Hope he likes his new course. It's amazing. There's someone else we can send on adventure. Uh, let's negotiate your release then. I want to recruit you. I want you to convert. And I want a hook. Why not, eh? Welcome. And then let's send you out on an adventure. So this was the guy who's just like, I want to go on an adventure. We're not great, Aran. He bows with dramatic flair and focuses attention on a courier, a courtier passing in a hurry. I shall venture out and explore the world in your stead while you continue ruling over your realm. What I bring back will be of such caliber that you will feel my accomplishments permeate through your memento through the memento of my adventure on that note is there an area of the world you're interested in my lord no we're just gonna say the world is yours wow that's cool i like that yeah just go for it interesting well let's start getting some actual war score now by you know oh hello um by taking the war goal there's a story in our little town a king with a garlic crown to battle the infidels he rode on a donkey because uh, his only success is against a small monkey. This cursed ballad has become popular among wandering minstrels and plebs alike. Way too popular for my taste since I found a disturbing amount of similarities between myself and the protagonist. But hearing it sung shamelessly in my own face by my guest Marx is going too far. This is, uh... This is an unacceptable situation. We get the nickname Garlic King. No. How dare you. This is unacceptable. Do you find it funny or I can't stand it anymore? You punch the person who provokes you by singing the stupid ballad repeatedly. There's a 20% chance we kill a man. Do you find it funny? Gain 56 dread. All courtiers lose opinion. This is unacceptable. We, all courtiers lose opinion. We imprison him. You prohibit the ballad from being performed, threatening transgressors with him. I don't know. I feel like Elrang probably would be above people singing a song. Simultaneously, this guy singing it in his face is unacceptable. So you are going to get devoured. 
<laughs> Public execution. Oh, that's way better. That's far more l -ring. We don't say we're executing this man because of a ballad. We just take him out and have him publicly executed. And the implication is clear, I think. Have him done. Have him killed. No, don't have him done. That would be very bizarre. Well, although it wouldn't be the first time a corpse has been done in this place. Uh, inspiration funded. I want to possess something truly unique. Get out there. Go to the world and come back and surprise me with something incredible. Let's kill some troops. Nordic Secrets. Is this for our abduction? We get no stress from that. Oh, weird. Okay. That's fine. Well, let's start uh, Let's start taking some land then, eh? Um, because we'll move back to here. Let's get to sieging. 85% chance of getting Alga again. And there she is. I hope she likes her new course. It's amazing. Let's send her out again. Multitasking. Ah, you see. Was, I'm capable of it occasionally. Negotiate or release. Let's go all of these things. Thank you. And then let's send you on your merry way. Piss off. This is great that we can afford to go to war and sponsor inspiration. How crazy is that? Wow. So it's like if you're not triple over your domain limit, you can afford things. Uh, have we not finished sieging this one yet? Come on. I want to possess something truly unique, of course. I'm sure there's probably a lot more artifacts hidden away that we haven't that we haven't picked up yet, right? Uh, her and Athor is a non-believer. Again. I've got very much more important things to focus on, but thank you. Oh, this is this is a good amount of expansion, eh? This is a good amount of expansion. Now, uh, this this vassal mod that we've got, um, I don't remember the name of it. Again, everything's in the description. Whoa! Hameus Meowra, secret revealed. Meow. I look down and see my cat Hameus Meowra has dropped a scroll at my feet, sealed in my grandson Marla Pen's distinct style. Giving in to curiosity, I skim the text. The murder I committed weighs on me, and to think he was hiding such a thing. Oh my god, Hameus Miara has stolen one of his private diaries. And now we know that not only did he try and kill Mira, but we also know that he's committed other murders. We'll have a look and see who he murders in a second. Oh! Sencha Cougars in terrain unknown. Sounds like some old <laughs> cheap sci-fi novel. My lord, a message from your adventurer, Acemir. The servant says, handing me a scroll. That's probably Acemir, right? Uh, the search has led me to terrain unknown of Cicatrice. Where is Cicatrice, eh? Um, okay, it is in elsewhere then. Interesting, okay. Um, Aceman's knowledge should be enough to keep him safe. 99% chance he avoids any cougars. 46% chance he fights a cougar. And gains a slightly higher quality artifact. Oh, he gains wounded, you idiot. Well, whatever. You win some, you lose some. I, I, I presume if we say we want something exotic and then they maybe fail in situations like that, maybe that will actually impact the... Uh, resulting artifact that we get. That is not good. Hold on. Pause. 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 Turn around. Kill those. You're welcome. We just bailed them out hard there. We just absolutely bailed them out. They were about to get thwomped. And then Elran comes riding in on a white horse. Dawn's light. Hello, Taper of St. David. Oh, that's good. As I turn another year older, I'm reminded of the splendid birthday party. My friends, Puthan and Zafani. Are they... St uh, so Puthan's dead, right? Oh, no, you're still alive. Um, we just became... Horrible rivals. And then Safane is still around. We did land him, but he seems to have lost his land. I'll get him back to court. Let's get him back to court. See if we can give him something else. It's sweet to reminisce about old times. It is. It is. This is why we need to start renaming all the characters on Mass so that I can keep track of them a little bit better. Giving them uh, just ridiculous names like everybody too, by the way. Here we are. My lord, my beneficiary, Asia, announces his arrival in a surprisingly loud voice. He probably holds up a package. I return from elsewhere with a artifact of my journey. Acemus smiles proudly. This helmet was once worn by the Dragon Guard. Famed Akaveri Dragon Hunters. A composed of lamin armed piece of metal bound together by silk cords. This is magnificent. We've already got some. Thanks, though. Whoa, shit. Oh, the battle for Skingrad. We're actually in Skingrad. Look at that. What a battle. Wow. They really do not want us taking this one. Holy shit. Well, I mean, we're going to win the second we take this, right? I receive a missive from my adventure. Lines written in mingled with splash of blood. The plains and meadows I have wandered have been gorgeously adorned with wildlife. As I was off my steed, snoop stooping to sniff a flower, a shadow was cast over me by High Priestess Sneeda, the liege of these lands, and a woman who thinks none too highly of you. The grubs of Aaron Outrang shall not suckle in my meadows, she dismounted in order to guards to seize me. Seize me. Um, I will send her some denunciations. Shit. So it's a lower quality either way. And there we are. Skingrad is ours. Boom. <laughs> Ah, a good day. But today was a good day. This is this is fantastic. Um, I don't care about any of you. Uh, what's this? Oh, right, of course, an artifact. Um, 
What have we, what have we not got hung up here? Um, it gives Kavala... Oh, they all give the same thing, right? Roughly. Um, the Fearsome Boar of Crowhaven gives slightly more renown. So there you go. We'll hang that one up. Um, what about our banners, our tapestries? Uh, that gives more renown. Anything that gives renown, I think, is what we want to go for. Elf Boy Banner gives 20% dread grain. Ooh, I like that. We've already got an display, though. Um, that gives 0 0.12 renown. 0 0.14. 0 0.14. There you go. Done. Easy. Um, and then on the other side, what have we got? That's the Elf Boy Banner, right? He. Um, I want the renown. I really do want the renown, and I think it's a better play. So the Alfboy Dynasty banner and then the Alfboy House banner. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Sorry, just to double check then. So we've got the Dynasty banner, the House banner, the Alfboy Tapestry, and the Olo Tapestry. Fine, good shit. That's all right. We got a load of other stuff that we could um, we could hang up, but none of it's massively relevant. Cool. All right, and we've got something apparently for a pedestal over here. Oh, a statue. Hey, is this? Have we got like a fully decorated uh, throne room now? I think we actually might do. Hold on. Uh, I think if we open up here and then we go Royal Court. Hey, look at that. Very nice. Have any Dragon Wolf, one of our unique items. That's fun. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's probably better things we could put on display, but... Books. Uh, what's this one? That is the Alpha. Okay. So we can maybe swap that out for this one. Gives prestige. What is it? does this one do? Personal scheme power court grand bonus. Yeah, no, that's fine. Diplomacy lifestyle experience up 20% with this one, though. Ooh, could be good. And then we've got the statues out. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's great. Wow, okay. So what we've got to do then is sit here and revoke all of these titles. You know how it goes at this point, I think. Uh, they're probably not going to accept. Now, this is what I was about to say. This, this, this vassal mod is a... Blessing and a curse. They'll join us as allies, which will give us more troops, because obviously as as vassals, they only submit a certain amount of their troop percentage, right? Um, but with, if they join us as an ally, they'll send whatever they can. Uh, let's hold a mystic communion. Why not? Oh, something went wrong. Not that it matters. Did his eyes get more red? Did you see that? Go back and watch that. I, I swear it did. Um, let's give some titles away. So why in some situations... So it's anything we siege down, we get as personal... Domain? I'm not sure. I'm I, I am gonna try and revoke everything, but this is a dangerous play. Um if we set we can set we can pay them to piss off if I remember correctly. If we do that, then we say revoke title. 78% done. I was gonna say he won't say no to that. He's a sensible lad. Um you take some money. Same gift. Boom. If I gave away some of these titles, they'd be more happy about seeing us, I suppose, but this is fine, it's hundred percent. Uh, oh no, don't bother. Don't bother curing him. He's a lich. I don't think he can actually die of disease. Perfect. Let's go for this one. It's going to take a little while. Bear with me. Um, revoke title. This one. Might accept. Well, you're in prison, so I bloody hope you would. Not in our prison, but she is in prison. She's not really got a leg to stand on. Um, have some money. Give me a title. This is better than... Let's be honest. This is better than raising all of our troops and spending more money raising troops, right? Um... Let's revoke a little bit more from you, if that's all right. And done. So we, we've totally unlanded this guy. He's now our rival. He, he said yes, because I suppose he didn't really... He obviously wasn't going to win, but he's not happy about it. Uh, he asked some money for you. Prior Paulus. He's, uh, this guy is going to be hard to shift, because, of course, he's a prior. He's not going to give up his priory that easy. Oh, no. Nope. little money solved the problem. <laughs> How are we looking? Um, so it's all, like, all of this, too, isn't it? My God. I could be here for a while. Then I've got to give all this stuff back out. So uh, strap yourself in. We're going to be here for a while. Of course, the more stuff we're revoking, the easier it is going to be to fight any wars that do pop up. Very good. Another rival. That's fine. It would be worse for Aaron if he had no rivals. Let's kill some. Let's kill some out. Uh, Kinder Slayer. Oh, yeah. You were the person who uh, abused his grandson, which is just... I, I mean, cruelty for the sake of ambition, for the sake of forwarding yourself... Or, or writing or wrong is fine. Cruelty for the cruelty's sake is not acceptable. That's not acceptable, and we're not about that here. Uh, how are we looking? Vindicel is already ours, so I think we'll um, not revoke that one. <laughs> Even though we could. I think we're, we're well within our rights to do so, given that he tried to murder my wife. She won't accept. How about some money? That always solves some problems. 52. Dangerous. Oh. Uh, okay. We kind of expected it. Kind of expected it, but now that we haven't got all of those disgruntled vassals, it is a little bit easier. What sort of... Oh, this is an easy rebellion. Oh, yeah, no, this is pathetic. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. So go to the leader of the... So if we fight her... And she's leading troops right there. So if I raise an army and fight her, that... 
might be quicker. I wonder. I mean, obviously, it's 100% war score if we capture the bloody leader anyway. I suppose I should be going for it regardless. All right, there we go. Raise absolutely everything. Yeah, why not? Could have just raised the man at arms, but we've done it now, haven't we? Hello there. Or oh, explore the hills yourself. Yeah, let's kill some of these rivals. This is to, uh, of course, to, even though they are below him, unlanded random people that we don't really care about. Uh, it just is going to make sure our rank's life expectancy stays about where I want it to be. Because the last thing we want is this guy being assassinated. Now we've got him in a great place. I mean, it's Miara, the troublemaker. My vassal, a Don Wendemir, approaches me, rage in his eyes and a cat in his hand by the scruff of the neck. He thrusts his cat in my face and I say, it's my dear Hermaeus Miara. I found this little monster among my things. What, uh, what wasn't scratched to bits was covered in piss. It's just a cat. Yeah, fuck you. How dare you speak about Hermes Miara like that? You're lucky you're not... It's a good job that guy was a member of my dynasty. Otherwise, he would be on the kill list. And that is a... That's an outright guarantee. He's murdered people for less. Watch it there, brother. God, this is taking a while. Explore the planes yourself. I haven't got the patience for this. All these all these low-tier underlings. Actually, where's the... Where are you, then? Okay, yeah. So, uh, there's no chance of finishing the war instantly at this point. But... So, we'll kill some more troops. Just in case they get into... Get into trouble. On the plus side, this does mean we can revoke everything a little easier, right? And then maybe we can do another public execution when we've got it all held. Hey! Oh, his eyes do go more red, I think, when he's ill. I kind of want him to stay ill now. He looked a bit more imposing. <laughs> what a horrible reason to be ill. Uh, scandalous priest. Oh, great. Condemn him. We, get, we lose no stress for that anymore. I guess Aurang's heart has opened a little bit to the religion. Maybe he's starting to believe his own shit. Um, yes, condemn him. No stress for any of them. So it's, it's an open season now. Alrang knows the purpose of this. Oh! Bloody hell, that's loud. What a tragedy. She died. All that money I wasted. Right, who else is it? It's you. Beyond boundaries. Damn older woman, Jakidi, and her thieving lackeys. My steward sputters out a message that the, with the bold-faced girl, those thugs go as the common folk at the Temple of the Ancestors. Huh? Put her on the list. Hideous. Hideous beast. Uh... My personal feuds are not with my people. We are going to be merciful with our taxes. We don't need taxes right now. Uh, saying that, if we're at war 33 over domain limit, as we have been, maybe we will need the taxes. Kill her. Cruelty for cruelty's sake is never acceptable, but cruelty and revenge is absolutely above board and encouraged. My agent slipped a poison into her goblet and it dissolved without a trace. Much like she did. <laughs> right. Speaking of dissolving without a trace, piss off. Right, let's get to revoking then, eh? Lots of stuff to revoke. Not much time to do it in. Uh, give me that. Thank you. Yep, don't care. Give me one of these. Thank you. How generous. Um, oh! Baron Antus escaped. Die in fire. <laughs> I say that as if I've ever committed anybody in this game to die by fire. I always forget. Oh! Ah. Yes. He was the... I should have... Shit, I should have left it paused while we were revoking those titles. He's going to say no. You know what? Do it. Honestly, do it. Uh, Severus Massina is going to be killed. Uh, but we did not win. Before I could finish walling up the exits, some servants walked in. Oh, it seems like Severus fell asleep in the middle of your project. Care to uh, escort him to my bedroom, my lord? Yes, absolutely. Rally the troops. For God's sake. How, how many times are we going to do this, old man? Uh, we are trying to murder him. We're carrying on with the murder, so we are going to uh, let some information slip to our agents. Very good. Very good. We're already at 50% war score, and we haven't even started. That's a good sign, isn't it? 69%. Amazing. Ah! Uh, explore the hills yourself. And now, we siege again. God, I love non-stop sieging, don't you? As me saying, oh, we'll play the carrots today. We can multitask, and then just been drowning in titles. Thank you, fair lady. Look at my money! Ugh! The price I pay for convenience for nice borders. Right, this time, give me a fucking title. Give me that. All right, you know what? This time, let's execute him. He's pissing around. Die. Right, there we are. Okay, and who else is it? Let's get rid of that from you. Thank you. Amazing. And then uh, you as well, tiny child. Give me your title. I feel like this kid can't really be blamed too much. I don't think he went to war specifically for that. Okay, how are we looking? Very nice. So this is all human land too. They're all kind of, bizarrely enough, all of, of Skingrad and Kavach at this point are all kind of human dark elf hybrids. We've got kind of a, uh, a Breton situation going on. Very bizarre. And all of this is ours. Perfect. So that should have dealt with 
So that's all personally owned by El Elrang now. Amazing. Right, good. Yes. Uh, obviously, first things first. Kingdom of Skingrad. <laughs> well, let's make the Duchy of Skingrad. Uh, who do you want to give this to then? Castle Skingrad. That's a nice castle. Uh, anybody of our dynasty who is unlanded, I suppose. Let's have a look. Elf boy land candidates. Let's sort by learning because we value that significantly. Uh, anybody with any inheritable traits? Umaril. Umaril elf boy. Yes. Grant you a title. You are now the Duke of Skingrad with a name like that and a big brain. You're more than welcome to take it. Out where is it? Skingrad. Oh, they've all got alien names. How the hell am I supposed to keep up with this? Uh, ah, here we are. No, oh, no, this is the one that doesn't have the... <laughs> one of the few tiles that doesn't have an alien name and I still couldn't find it. There we are. We got a lot of titles, okay? We were like 40 over our domain limit there. Give me a break. Right. Oh, tidy, sweet, tidy, pressure, tiny borders. Look at this. Did that bloke have... Sorry, did that bloke still have land? No. Viscounts of a... Where? Oh, he does still have land. Oh, no, he's in Kavach. He's, he's a D Duke of Kavach. I was like, what the hell? Um, right, fair enough. Yes, very good. Very good, very nice. Okay, uh, you take one of these. We'll just keep going through the elf boy candidates. Grant to... Uh, I like that you can grant to from... Whoa, hello? I like you can grant to from uh, the title itself. Now, that's a really useful feature. Something CK2 is definitely sorely lacking. Oh, God, the candidates are shite, aren't they? Good Lord. Um... I mean, you're good. Cannot hold the uh, temple temple management. Yes, okay. Um, let's just give that to a new... Just give that to anybody. High learning. Preferably not a dynasty member, though. Let's go priest to be landed. God, these filters are useful as well. Do you remember when CK2 didn't have filters? Sorry, CK3 didn't have filters. That was a nightmare. Um, same story again, I suppose. You can have... There you go. Boom. Let's shuffle those over. This is going to be so lovely by the time we're done. Just just bear with me. Uh, can I transfer those? Hey. <laughs> this is the least appropriate music for me struggling to manage menus. <laughs> what an epic moment. Me trying to find the transfer vassal button. Truly astounding. Uh, right, you know what? Forget it. We'll sort it out later. Maybe it's because they're a child. Maybe it's because they're over there. Vassal. I don't know. We'll sort it out in a moment. Um, right. Uh, let's give this to... Who are we going to give it to? More elf boys, preferably. Uh, anybody with inheritable traits? Courage that. Uh, no. As you. You have something. There you are. That's yours. Enjoy. And we've got this county here. Let's take that grant too. Ah, uh, shit. We are really scraping the barrel for Elf Boy Dynasty members. Hinemir is our great grandson. He has quick and attuned. I keep looking at that and I'm like, oh, he's 81. He's too old. He's not, though, is he? I'm just losing my mind. Um, yeah, you know what? You can have it then. Where were you? You're at least quick, or sorry, at least some sort of brain bonus. Intellectual uh, trait, I suppose, is a better word for that. Right. Almost done, I promise. Thank you, Skyrim Music. You really get me through this. Out of the eight, grant to any random shithead here. Take it. And then, can I transfer Vassal now? I don't know why I can't do that still. Bizarre. Well, we'll figure it out. And that is basically that. Uh, let's grant. Grant? Oh, we can't grant because we don't bloody have it. No, we can't. I'm losing my mind. Why, why can't we grant that? So that one doesn't have it for whatever reason. Oh, can you only grant it if you hold the whole thing? Is that why? So I've still got to do it kind of piecemeal? Okay, fair enough. Why not? Um, no, I can't grant it. Can I grant at least out title? Ah, piss off. There you go. That explains a lot. Right. Um, anybody with any sort of magic? You'll do. Whatever. You're good. You're not naturally uh, gifted, but you, you've got there through good good learning. Beautiful. Lovely borders. I do have to tidy these up again. I'm not sure why I can't transfer vassals. Um, too many hell duchies. Don't I just? Oh, because I didn't actually give her the duchy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> really? Truly astounding. Um, how, how can you be this bad? 
Right, say uh, ta-ta. It's no wonder I was bloody confused. I did click grant two on those, right? Or did I give them all out manually because we had to give some to priests? I don't bloody remember. That's incredible. That really is just... That with the Skyrim music going on might just be a, a, a highlight right there. Okay. Um, nobody talk to me about that. If I see any comment, you're all banned. You are you're totally 100% banned. I don't need to hear this. I don't need this from you. Uh, do you know how many thousands of hours I've got in Crusader Kings 2? Talk to me when you've got a highly subscribed workshop item. Uh, well, that is up to date. That's that's even more important, okay? We're on, like, page two, but it's the only one that's actually working for the current version of CK2, okay? So I'm going to take that as a win. We're, we should be number one. Should be number one. But you're not allowed to sort by version number, because Paradox didn't think of that. Oh, that would be so useful, wouldn't it? Version text for CK2 mods. Uh, oh, and CK3 mods. Wenderwick. Wenderwick is yours. Right, okay. Uh, how many duchies have I got now that I shouldn't have? Silorn. Let's give that one out too, then. And then I'm pretty bloody happy with that. Perfect, tidy borders. No total bankruptcy. Just elves living in the moment. Look at that. Look at these perfect borders down to the lot. Well, except for Cyrodiil, which got a bit messy. Perfect borders in 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 an anvil and uh, this one, coral, and uh, this one that we do, Skingrad. Amazing. Perfect down to the last county border. Of course, we've got county anvil because we're going to make that a holy site. Amazing. Amazing day. Bruma's in ruin, so we'll probably do something about that. Um, what else we got here? Is that the size of Grand Hall? Fine. Let's take some prestige in exchange for cool grandeur. Um, elsewhere's architecture is crude but inspiring. Sure, we're going to prove how big brain we've got. We have total knowledge of all other architectures. You are beneath us. Uh, give me an exotic feast as well. We can also upgrade an artifact. Oh, yeah. Notify me when that's available. Of course. Um, we're going to upgrade the Alpoy Tapestry. 0.14 per month. Two. Something better, I'm sure. Be nice if it popped up and was like, hey, here's your artifact. Um, Alpoy Tapestry. 0.14. Uh, two. Where, where is it? <laughs> I thought we had like two tapestries up on the wall. Am I going insane? Going completely mad. There we are. Uh, Zero point one six, So, slightly better. Like, incrementally better, unsurprisingly. Uh, someone can be sponsored. You want to forge regalia? Nope, you're fine. You want to go on an adventure? No, nope, you want to write a book? No, thank you. You want to make jewelry? Whatever. Don't care. Amazing. Uh, Kavach. Absolutely terrified. Surrounded. North, east, south, and even west. Uh, and even south, given that we have an ally in the south and Sylvanar still. What a great time to be alive. Or just not for Kavach. I've done a great job, haven't I? No, no, no. Give some credit to Mira. They are soulmates, after all. Uh, disabled buildings. of counter control and harms. Folly. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. Um, prisoners can be ransomed. Well, why don't we have a look at that? I, I wanted to execute some of what we control all of it, but of course we did a call, uh, uh, public execution too recently. I shouldn't have done that in hindsight, but that's all right. Um, here's an idea. Ransom out who we can. Execute the lot? Nah. Execute all. I don't want to execute like you, though. Because you're like... Oh, it's green packs. No, I don't give a fuck. I presume we won't automatically execute people of our... Right. Right, that's unfortunate. I don't know why it would do that. Automatically. But we've done it now. Alrang, once again, very typical Alrang, probably distracted by some books or knowledge or his pet cat, Hermes Miara. Or maybe, there is obviously a very good justification for this. He has never been soulmates with anybody up until Mira. And the, the guy he just executed in his prison tried to take her away from him. The only thing he's got left that really anchors himself to this, uh, to this world. You know, really allows him to keep his elf manity. Elf murity. So I think he, uh... I think he probably would have not been pleased about that. Uh, he is vengeful. So I think it's it's well within his character, right? He's vengeful. He's cynical. She was his soulmate. He's loyal. I think an execution of a known criminal, even if we do get Dynastic Kinslayer, is something he would have been fine with. We did lose a level of devotion, though. Uh, because we murdered a dynasty member. Uh, fine. We're going to crack open our secret stores for the feast. A celebration. Maybe that's what the feast was. It was a cover-up of a mass execution. And he was hoping that not only would the, the feast distract them and the mass execution distract them, but also that guy would just, you know, just go along with the rest of the executions. He, they, nobody would notice him just amongst the crowd, you know. 
Uh, who deserves a gift? We're gonna give this guy some money so we can kill him a little bit better. Fine. I can tell. There is something wrong with Mira as soon as we're in bed together. She is clearly distracted. I clasp her hand gently and I ask her what the matter is. It's a money matter, she sighs, running her free hand over my head. I have some family who are short of luck and they're close to losing their home. I want used to spend time there as a child. She looks at me pleadingly. Is there anything we can do? I'm sure they could pay it back to us. We just need to get them back on their feet. They're good for it, I swear. Ah, uh, sure, they can have some money. Absolutely. Uh, we're obviously not going to sign a piece with anybody. My great grandson approaches me with a sweat beating brow on his face. My lord, my humans have been unbalanced ever since I helped you pack that gift for Severus. I fear the tent of the gold has afflicted me as well. God damn it. You fool. Should have put some gloves on. Bon appetit, Severus. Damn it. We're not doing well with the whole murder plot today, are we? That's two that we failed. Uh, This girl wants to send him an artifact. Nope, never happening. That bloody boar hide has been the source of so much dynastic. But uh, cross dynastic. I mean, they're not, they're not our dynasty, but they are our relatives, of course. It's been the cause of so much trouble. The healthy rivalry between the Metals and Fighters is to be expected, but the growing discord between Ulanil and Mirili is souring the mood at court. Ulanil is riding to be more skilled, but Mirili clearly takes issue with them. Uh, yeah, fight. Yeah, Ulanil wins the duel. Well, that'll teach you a lesson, won't it? Thank you for joining me today. Let's wrap this up quickly, because we've ran on far too far for what is supposed to be a late-night adventure. Uh, we'll be back to regular schedule starting, starting tomorrow. Well, well, next episode will go up at usual time. So it'll be 6 p.m. Um, today, actually, because it's 2 a.m. now. So it'll be 6 p.m. You've got to wait like not many hours, like 18, uh, 14 ish hours. You'll be fine. Just bear with me. And I will see you all then. Come back soon. Maybe we'll take Kavach. Maybe we'll take Bruma. Maybe we'll take the whole of Cyrodiil. 